the P-8A Poseidon is a maritime patrol and reconnaissance aircraft. Uh, we focus on maritime surveillance, anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare and search and rescue operations and we're conducting these operations around the world every day. On Talos and Sabre uh, we're focusing on joint war fighting uh, and combined operations with the United States Navy. Exercise Talos and Sabre has been a really excellent opportunity for 11 Squadron. We've had some fantastic opportunities to work in some uh, complex environments with uh, multiple partners, ships, helicopters, the air combat group, aircraft, um, working with and coordinating a lot of different assets to achieve the effects that are required. So we're up in the front flying the aircraft and then our mission crew involves the Maritime Patrol and Reconnaissance Officers. In addition to them we have the Airborne Electronic Analysts um, and they're split into the Electronic Warfare Operators who run the radar uh, and they manage the electro-optic system and the acoustic warfare operators who uh, analyse raw data from sonar boys uh, to look for submarine contacts. The training that we get on Talos and Sabre is second to none. Here in Australia we get to work directly with our allied partners. Uh, working with the ADF has been fantastic. We've actually been getting along really well, uh, which helps the relationship. It's interesting because as we progress through the exercise, we're learning the, some of the different nuances with how we operate. Uh, and if we weren't here to do that, then we wouldn't be getting through some of those language barriers. Whether it's, you know, we might call something a little bit different that can delay mission execution on station. So working through those things now will only make a, a much smoother transition if we had to do this in an operational environment. I'm very proud of Combat Air Crew 1 who was selected to come to this exercise uh, and, and take on this, this amazing opportunity. I'm definitely proud of my family uh, back at home.